the birth of Jesus Christ. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she found to be child through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law, he did not want to expose her to public disgrace. So he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had spoken through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. But he did not consummate their marriage until she gave birth to a son, and he gave him the name Jesus. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed, and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and the teachers of the law, he asked them where the Christ was to be born. In Bethlehem in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But the Bethlehem, the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will be the shepherd of my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. Sending back to Bethlehem, he said, Go, make the careful search for the young child, and when you have found him, report back to me, so that I too may go and do obeisance to him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen in the east went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to their house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. They opened their treasures and presented him with the gifts of gold and of incense and of milk. They had been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod. They returned to their country beyond their root. When they had gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, he said. Take the child and his mother and escape. So he got up, took the child and his mother, and left during the night for ages. Where he stayed until the death of Herod, and was fulfilled what that the Lord has said to the prophets, Out of Egypt I call my son. When Herod realized that he was outwitted by the Magi, he was furious. And he gave orders to kill all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity who were two years and under, in accordance with the time he had learned from the Magi. Then, what was said through the prophet Jeremiah was fulfilled. The voice is here in Ramah, weeping the great morning. They shall weep in vulgar children, and refusing to be comforted, because they are no more. After Herod died, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt and said, Get up, take the child and his mother. And go to the land of Israel, for those who are trying to take the child's life are dead. So he got up and took the child and his mother and went to the land of Israel. But when he heard that Douglas was riding in Judea in place of his father Herod, he was afraid to go. Have we been warned in the dream? He went to the desert of Galilee. Later the dark collateral. What a tapiti, what a sad, what a profit.